What's going on, guys? Fuller from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. I'm joined remotely by Dustin yet again. Another episode of This or That. He's got the unreleased lifestyle hoodie on. This is like you know sneak peek, I guess. We're gonna show people what it's what's going on. But uh, another episode of This or That. So we got Keaton, who you can't see, but he's gonna ask the questions. Dustin and I are gonna answer them, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. These have been fun, even though Dustin's in his living room, kitchen. Dining room, kind of. Dining room, yeah. 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 And I'm in my living room. So uh, with that, let's do it. Chrome wheels on a black truck or chrome wheels on a white truck? Ooh. I really Ooh. like chrome wheels on a white truck. I guess like when, uh, if I think of like the ultimate, like very clean look, it's an F-250 or 350 King Ranch the like nice pearl white that they have with the tan two-tone. I actually like the two-tone, a lot of people don't. Uh, and then like a big set of chrome wheels on there. It just keeps it like, I don't know, it looks nice. Or a platinum, you can do the same thing with a platinum. I just like the King Ranch. <laughs> it's because of the uh, the leather interior for the King well, Ranch. Well, it is really. <laughs> and it's because I, I bought a Stetson, so now I have to like King Ranches. That's true. It like. It, yeah, it just comes with the, the purchase of a hat. Um, I like, I think I'm gonna go black truck and chrome wheels. I, honestly, I don't think you can go wrong either way. I think both options are awesome, uh, but I really like black trucks. They're terrible to keep clean, but when they are clean, they look really good. And then pair that with a set of chrome wheels, it just, it's a nice contrast for me. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, if you had a black Denali or something like that, and then you, you know, throw some chrome wheels on there, because Denali's have so much of that chrome trim. You can, Correct. you really can't go wrong either way, as long as you have some other chrome on the truck, I think. Yeah, I agree. You wouldn't want to have, like, everything blacked out and then have chrome wheels. I think that would be weird. 07 Duramax 2500 or 2020 Duramax 2500? 07 Duramax 2500, as long as it's a classic, because it's a cat eye. Oh, that's what I was just going to be like, you mean 07 Classic? Or, yes. Uh, which, I guess, technically in the in in 07, I think the the Duramaxes, the heavy-duty trucks, were still the Cat Eye. They didn't switch till technically 08, but it was the half tons that were in 07 and a half, blah, 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 whatever. We know that you mean Cat Eye. Um, yes. Or a 2020. Yeah, the 2020s are kind of controversial as far as uh, appearance-wise, what they what they look like but i actually don't mind the new trucks so i think i would go with i hope you can't hear the drill that's going on in the background we're getting a new screen door today um <laughs> i feel like this is the same as when we're in uh we're in the shop the difference is it's now your girlfriend in the back yeah. of the drill instead of booby you know right um <laughs> so yeah i would go with the <laughs> i would go with the 2020 this is ridiculous. <laughs> I would go with the 2020 Duramax. I actually like the way they look. Even in the work truck package, I think they look all right. Um, which, eh, am I a hypocrite? Because I have, I've got an 04 2500, which is, you know, the same as the 07. But, you know, I still want the 2020. That's fair. Single cab 60 power stroke or single cab 67 power stroke? Ooh, oh. why you got to hit me in the feels like that? Wow, you know, we just did the what's the hype on the 6.0, and I kind of covered all the problems, but honestly, in single cab format, I think I like the 6.0. Oh, yeah. I, I, they're actually a pretty good-looking truck for the age, I think. Yeah, and I had a buddy, so I had a extended cab short box 6.0, but I had a buddy that had a regular cab short box 6-liter, and he used to take it to like grass drags all the time and he would just walk yeah. everything that was there because they make crazy power and they weigh nothing. So like- And I don't know if it's just cause like a six, seven regular cab, like I'm picturing work truck here. And I just right. think of like the railroad trucks that just, I don't know, they don't look <laughs> good. Yeah. With like the drop down <laughs> wheels. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think of. But when I think of a six liter single cab, I think of like a freaking drag truck. So yeah. Yeah, plus VGT Turbo, like, uh, they sound amazing. They look they really good, like best. you said. They're just, it'd be a neat truck to have, yeah. If you could get, like, a single cab, short bed, 6.0 Harley Davidson, that would be, Ooh. like, that's it right there. That's the move. Short cab, short box, or long cab, long box? 
I'm going with the school bus option on this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, the long box, the crew cab. You know, you. again, this is me being hypocritical because I have a single cab. I'm going to say, you need a crew cab because when you go to drive around you want to bring your friends with, you're, you need more than two seats. Or in my case, I have the bench seat, but, you know, it's a stick, so whoever sits in the middle is getting the old elbow. So probably yeah. avoid that. Yikes. Yeah, I'm going to go the same way. I... Regular cab short box trucks always remind me of Tonka toys when you lift them. And like they're cool because yep. you have a really short wheelbase and you can, you know, navigate wherever you want to go. But like I just picture, when I picture crew cab long box, I picture Rainy's truck and it looks so good. Yeah, if you had a street truck, I could see doing the, the regular cab short box. But a lot of those guys, I think, I don't know if they like short boxes or long boxes. I get so confused, but I like the regular cab long box for a street truck look. But yeah, if you lift a regular cab short box, it becomes very tall, but very squished. And then I'm, I always just picture the step side trucks too, because for some yep. reason, all of the, you know, uh, 99 to 06 Chevys with the step side that are regular cab and short box get lifted. And it's just, you know, I don't know if the whole bubble side was my was my thing <laughs> yeah i agree king ranch or platinum mm. king king ranch i kind of alluded to this earlier i didn't know this was going to be a question but they're honestly very similar other than you get a better color interior in the king ranch in my opinion um it is genuine leather though which wears very poorly. So that's a downfall of it, but it still looks really nice. And it's King Ranch. I mean, what more do you need to know? You got a King Ranch, it's like, what up, bitch? I'm a King Ranch. I don't think you can say that <clears throat> on He'll the, believe it. the internets. I agree. It's it's the genuine leather. It's the double stitching. It's the the branding and the headrests, right? On, on the King Ranch. That, other than that, they're, they're almost the same truck, you know, when it comes to um, to fit and finish as far as uh, options other than the leather interior. But I really like the leather yeah. in the King Ranch. It looks super good. Like, you want heated and cooled seats? Okay, either one. You want a massive panoramic sunroof? Okay, either one. You want the sweet tailgate with the aluminum uh, placard on it? Yeah, okay, either one. Doesn't matter. Sure. But I like the King Ranch style. And Plus like I said, King I bought a Stetson. I bought a Stetson. What, do you want me to pick a platinum? No, I'm not wearing a backwards baseball hat. I'm wearing <laughs> a Stetson. Excursion or F-250 with a topper? Excursion. Really? I had one. Oh. And I just, yeah, I don't know. I felt like I had to pick it. Um, honestly, though, I really did love that truck. It was a great truck. And you know what? You can call it a truck because it uses the same F-250 chassis and it is body on frame it's not like these new suvs all right i'm calling it a truck it had the 6.8 v10 in it and the cool thing was if you took the third row seating out which you know was just clipped in like many of them are but it was really easy to get out uh you can fit a queen air mattress in that space and then it's like a little more fit and finish than sleeping in the back of a truck and if you wanted to run the air conditioner or the heat or something like that you know you could do it Whereas on a pickup, you got to pass everything through that tiny window if you can even pull that off. So like, as far as camping wise, which I used to actually camp in it like quite a bit, um, cause my family would camp all the time and I would stay with the dog cause we wouldn't, they wouldn't let the dog in the camper. So I would sleep in the truck with the dog <laughs> all like all the time. That was like a very common thing to do. So I loved the excursion. I thought it was good. It was my mom's truck before I had it. <laughs> <laughs> he says that's so proud. Yeah. How, uh, well, how long you know, did you I your... just I had to say it, so. How long did you have your license before you cut the muffler off it? Well, uh, I was very scared of my mother if I would cut the <laughs> muffler off that, so I installed cutouts instead. So ah. she wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, but I would say it was in within probably about three minutes of getting my license, yeah. yeah. But that's because I drove that truck, you know, ever since I was like 12. Damn. <laughs> I'm going to go with the pickup. I have always been a pickup over an SUV guy, or a, uh, I guess if you call it an SUV, do you call that a 
Because the excursion's like full I mean, it, size. It is an SUV. Yeah, right? It's like it's like a three quarter ton SUV. Yeah, that's weird. But I, I've always liked pickups. I would much rather have the versatility of put the topper on, take the topper off. Um, only because I've found in more situations than not, you find yourself where you need that extra height in the storage room, you know? Right, you do get that versatility with the pickup. Like, if you wanted to throw some sheets of plywood in there, you can. If you want to put a dirt bike in the back, you can. In the excursion, well, you still have carpet, and you have a, you actually had a spare tire in the back. They didn't put it underneath the truck, fun fact. Um, so it did take up some of your cargo space, uh, just being like, you know, fit and finished. And you had like the rear AC and all that stuff in there to take up space. So you didn't ha quite have the full width you need to have a bed like a truck, but yeah. Yep. Bonus question. <laughs> Would you rather be able to eat anything you want and stay healthy or be fluent in every language? Mm, I'd rather just be able to eat everything. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I, I, I hardly think of a good... <laughs> I hardly speak English, okay? It's fine. I just, I like food. I'm going with food. If I could eat anything I want and not gain a pound, it'd be great. I'm in. Yeah, I was trying to find a good reason to pick the fluent in every language kind of thing, but I eat every single day. I don't meet people who speak other languages every single day. So there's that. You know, I travel quite a bit, but most of my travels within the United States or when I have traveled outside the country, you can usually find somebody who speaks English. It's actually not very hard. Um, and I know enough Spanish to get me in trouble, so. <laughs> All right, so that was another episode of This or That. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions for us that you want to ask for the next one, you can just drop them down in the comments below, and we'll find them. We'll probably put it in the, in the next episode for you. Uh, wheels, tire suspension, if you don't know, that's kind of what we do. We don't just talk like idiots on the internet. We actually have wheels, tires, and suspension, and we're kind of the experts at that stuff. So if you want to check it out, it's customoffsets.com. we got giveaways going on. we got sales going on. we got financing going on. There's tons of different stuff that's always happening. So go check it out. I think that's it, right? Peace. We yeah. out.